Somebody asked us a couple of weeks ago if I could post Wizbit. Can't remember who it is, but here it is anyway. Now he comes from the planet of Wow. Once he was a little bit, little bit, little bit, a little bit of magic in his daddy's eye. Time came to grow a bit, grow a bit, grow a bit. Wizbit grew about three feet high. Ha ha, this away, ha ha, get away, ha. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome back, back to to Puzzleopolis, Puzzleopolis. My, my little, little magical, magical dreamers, dreamers. Uh, I keep saying everything, everything twice. I wonder why. Hmm, never mind. Hey, look. Now, here's a good, good trick, trick. You see, all you need is a coin and a wire, what's it? You see, there's a wire, what's it? And we need uh, one of these. This is a yellow cone. Reminds me of, oh, there he is, Wizbit. Now, if you put Wizbit over the yellow uh, wire, what's it? And, and then you put the wire, what's it, and the Wizbit. It's hard to remember this over the coin. All you really have to remember is snap your fingers, and the coin has gone. Disappeared. No, see, it's not in there. It's where you thought it was. <laughs> oh, to get it back, all you do is you just snap your fingers twice, twice, and the coin returns, and that's it. You see, I always, always like, like to start the day with a little, little magic, magic. And now, I'm just going to check, check my look looks in the mirror, mirror. So, mirror, mirror. Paul, oh, well, hello. do you remember that word you asked me to remind you about? Uh, uh, I knew, Debbie. It was, uh, doppelganger. That's the one? Yeah, well, what about it? I've forgotten it. Well, don't worry about that. You see, you'll probably remember it later. Oh, well, if I do, I'll remind you about it. Yeah. Thanks, Debbie. <laughs> what would I do without her? <laughs> well, now while you go off to Puzzleopolis for another magical story, we're going to try to figure out why we keep saying everything, everything, twice, twice. Meanwhile, high in the mountains at Castle Creep, Professor Doom Doom was as grumpy as ever. Now where is it? Now where can it be? I'm certain it was here a minute ago. It just goes to prove Doom's law. You can always find anything when you don't want it. Ah! Yeah! Ah! My magic wand! Huh? Yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah. Stand it on it! Are you suggesting that I, Professor Doom, cannot find my magic wand because I'm still... Uh... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Energy to Jesus! Huh? <laughs> yes! That gives me another of my great bad ideas. Possibly my best ever bad idea. Yes, a chance to revenge myself on Wizbit. Don't disturb me for the next couple of hours, Jinx. I shall be twice as busy as normal. Hey, that was delicioso. Now, a nice fresh cup of carrot tea will set me up for the day. Don't you ever get tired of eating carrots? You have carrots with everything. <laughs> Do you ever get tired of doing magic? Has the sun ever stopped shining? My sentiments precisely. <laughs> Touche, Wooly. Okay, here's what we'll do. A nice cup of carrot tea and a carrot to dunk in it. And I will show you some magic. Hey, that way we should both be doing what we like best. Me watching you do magic. <laughs> and me watching you dunk carrots. Are you sitting comfortably? I'm as comfortable as a rabbit with a carrot and a cup of tea to dunk in it could ever be. Wow, that's mega comfortable, Wooly. <laughs> it certainly is. Shall I begin? Please do. Now, do you know what this is, Wooly? Yeah, it's a plate. Not just any plate, Wooly. This is a willow pattern plate. Do you know that the pictures on the plate tell a story? I didn't know that. What's the story? Well, as you know, the pattern on the plate comes from China. So naturally, the story is about a beautiful Chinese girl whose father was a mandarin. Her daddy was an orange? A mandarin was a public official in the old Chinese empire. It is also the name of a small orange tree. But it's the civil servant we're concerned with in this story. Outside the girl's room in the house where she lived was a willow tree, 
represented here on the plate by these catkins with a fruit tree not far away. Now the girl fell in love with one of her father's assistants who was very poor, but he sent her a letter by floating it in a nutshell represented by the boat across the lake. In the letters, he asked her to run away with him. The girl agreed, provided her sweetheart would fetch her from her house, of course, and he agreed to do this. But her father saw them from his big house nearby, and he chased them. So we see three people on the bridge. First, the girl, carrying a bundle of wool on a staff for spinning, the young man with her trunk, and her angry father carrying a whip to prevent them leaving. However, the lovers made good their escape. They turned into doves and flew away and lived happily ever after. That's the story of the pattern on the willow pattern plate. Isn't that a sweet story, Wooly? The viewers did, as it'll be all right. Hey, you're gonna show me that trick with the plate now? Okay, now this may not look like much to you, but it is a picture. It's a picture of Black Cat in my garden at midnight. Whee! Now I'm gonna fold it up, and I'm gonna fold it down, and I'm gonna put it over here. Now, I've showed you the plate, so I'll put it back onto the display stand. Now all I do is I pick up the picture, you know, of the black cat, and I wave it around and around the plate. Now the amazing thing is that the middle of the plate disappears. All I gotta do now is unfold the paper picture, and the cat has gone. There's the pattern, and that's the mystery of the willow pattern plate. Hey, that's a great trick. You know, I bet if that plate could talk, I bet it could tell a story. I'm sure of it. Hey, listen, mind the store for a while. I'm going to Puzzleopolis to get today's daily riddle. Okie dokie, Wisbeth. <laughs> 